Welcome back to the 2021 Go-Kart Championship. This is the final round of the season at Bayford Meadows. Let's have a look at the standings going into this final round of the season. The championship has now been wrapped up, so there won't be a change to the top here. I will finish ahead of John this season. Greg is on 309 points, and Mike, a corrected score here from the last video, 216 points. My dad's sitting on 196 points going into this final round of the season, so he could quite easily jump up to P4 in the standings. Let's have a look at the second half of the leaderboard. George is on 161 points, Tom C on 96 points, Tom B on 82 points, and Jake sitting there on 56 points. So as for the final round of the season, we have seven drivers here today. Myself, John, we've also got Mike and my dad, and we've also got Tom C, Jake and Chris here at Bayford Meadows for this final round of the season. It's been a long championship this year, spread out a little bit around the various lockdowns throughout 2021 at the start of the year. So let's get to it. The last races of the season. So two races here today the first one's coming up right here now the plan initially was for us all to go out of the pit lane one by one but unfortunately i had a little bit of an error getting my glove on in time so i had to pull to one side getting out of the pits then my dad's cart stalls here coming out of the pits so john <laughs> exits the pit first and actually gets quite a big lead my dad would get his cart started and he would be second place on the road. Then we're going to switch to Tom C who would exit the pit lane in P3, but he's new to the track so he was taking it cautious early on. And you can see I managed to get past there down into turn one. So we're having this race as the sun is starting to set here at Bayford. It's quite a nice time of day to be karting out there. It was pretty cold though. This was right at the end of 2021 and it was pretty freezing but we're on board with Chris here he's taking part in his first race of 2021 had a pretty competitive 2020 year where he finished sixth place in the standings and you can see Jake is having a slow start here the red overall car is one of the marshals but we're coming up behind Jake here who as we've mentioned before isn't the most confident car so hasn't really had a chance to really get into it and go many times in a row so he's still lacking a bit of confidence each time he turns up to a race especially as it's been quite a long time since his last one but Chris gets past him there and gaining the position early on so John even though he had this big lead by default he's actually doing a good job out front setting some competitive lap times and I'm trying my best to chase him down I've also got my dad just in front of myself right now trying to get past him early on in this race but John is setting some competitive lap times out here and it's also important to know that the best lap times in this race here will be taken and will be put forward to the second race and determine the qualifying order so I'm bored with my dad here he's doing his best to get some competitive lap times in whilst also defending as best as possible but you can see he goes a bit wide there as he actually somewhat let me through so unfortunately my onboard camera didn't work here today which is a bit of a shame but you can see that's me just in front there so I managed to get past Tom C early on now past my dad into second position now in a 15 minute race it's going to be quite tough to close that gap to John and also the fact he's got that pretty significant lead now means that he can manage his pace. He can go for one fast lap for the qualifying for the second race and also then have an ease back off lap as he manages his pace throughout this quite cold session. Now on board with Chris here, I think he did a nice job of letting me through there. It makes you realise how quick these carts are and then my dad gets past there to put a lap on Chris as well. So Chris also new to this track, hasn't ever been here before so I was doing quite a lot of learning early on here. So for Tom... For Jake and for Chris, it was always going to be quite tough coming here. They did a good job though. They did a really good job to get up to speed early on around here. Bayford's actually quite a daunting track, so to learn it in 15 minutes is quite impressive. Also, Mike hasn't been here before, so there's actually four drivers out there learning this track for the first time, so that was always going to be a bit of a tough one, but Mike's done a bit more kart here over the last couple of years, and his general speed's quite quick in a kart, so he got up to speed quite quickly, so it's interesting to see the qualifying results for the second one here. On board with John, as mentioned, he can manage his pace thanks to that big lead he got early on, but he didn't let that 
get in his way of making some pretty audacious moves there to put a lap on Jake there. Nice squeezing down the inside, a nice overtake. Yes, it was to put a lap on him, but still good stuff from John there. On board with Chris here. He's closing up to the back of Jake here to try and put a lap on him as well. Now, Jake, as we mentioned before, lacks quite a lot of confidence to cart, so it was nice to see him out there and giving it his all, but it was taking him a bit longer to get up to speed. So we're starting to finish off this session here. That gap to John was too big for me to try and close down, but he drove a really good race here, nice and consistent throughout. Put in a few quick lap times, but in the end, he focused on the consistency, which was going to take him the bigger points for the race victory. So John wins race number one here at Bayford, and the first time he's ever won at Bayford, so I think he was pretty happy with that. A really good run there from John. Let's have a look at the standing. So John would take the win, 14 laps. I managed to get to six seconds behind there, but it wasn't good enough. My dad would finish 22 seconds behind and Tom C after a slower start would manage to get to 26 seconds. Not that far behind my dad at the end part of this race. I personally quite like the format that they run here for a split 30 minute session. You get the first part as a qualifying and race and then the second one is a proper race on the grid using the fastest laps from the first part of your session. So that's the top half of our leaderboard there. Let's have a look. Later on, we've got Mike on 34 seconds behind John, so he, he didn't quite get lapped there. Mike was let out the pit a little bit later on as well, um, but he managed to do a good job there. Chris ended up one lap behind, and Jake, as mentioned, getting up to speed was three laps behind. But don't worry, his pace in the second race was better, and he was looking forward to that one after getting some experience in that 15-minute session there. So, race number two, the final race of our 2021 season. As mentioned, the championship's already wrapped up, so it's all really for pride here. Who can take the final win of 2021? Well, let's get onto the grid and see how it goes. On board with John here, he's going to start in fifth position here. So, as mentioned, he really did start to focus on the consistent lap times rather than the outright pace. I would start on pole with Mike in second, Tom C in third, my dad in fourth, and John here in fifth but as you can see in front I get a really bad start from pole position now it wasn't that I missed the lights it was the fact that I didn't actually have one of my gloves on in time I was trying to as mentioned get my camera sorted but unfortunately I couldn't get it sorted after noticing it wasn't working and I dropped down to third place so that was not the best of starts for me there so Mike leads from Tom in second position I'm in third and John is sitting here in fourth position here it's nice to get a proper race start in here now you can see Mike at the front of the field actually getting a bit sideways and on board with Tom here he's going to look to try and get past Mike early on and try and take the lead Mike takes a bit too much speed into that corner gets a big drift on but manages to hold it now on board with Tom here you can see Tom's into the lead but no Mike throws it down the inside there there's enough space there really opportunistic move there from Mike to grab back the lead straight away after making a tiny mistake it's great to see these two battling at the front as mentioned neither of them had driven Baver Meadows until the start of today so I think they were pretty happy to be second and third on the grid respectively you also may have noticed my dad got a bad start as well. I'm not 100% sure what the reason for that was, but he qualified ahead of John, so I'll be looking to possibly get past him here in this race, knowing that in that first part, he was definitely quicker. So on board with John here still, we can see the leading three are just as we were. If anything, we're closing up a little bit. I'm trying to take a tighter line through here, maybe get the switch back on Tom, but no, that didn't really work out for me there. So now I'm going to have to focus on these next couple of corners to try and get past. Tom gets a little bit sideways through there, but he does a good job of holding it. And the front three of us, I guess front four of us now, maybe even five of my dads just behind here, are all really close early on this race. I got a bit of a better run out of that corner, but not quite good enough to get the overtake on Tom who currently sits in second position with Mike still leading the way now John is seeing all that's gone in front of him here and he's probably thinking I've got a good chance of a podium here so let's see what I can do as we saw in the first race he didn't quite have the pace over one a lap but his pace over a whole distance wasn't too bad at all so let's see what he can do here 
He's dropped back a little bit in these last couple of corners, but Mike has started to lose a bit of time once more, and Tom is close up to the back of him, and I'm right up behind Tom. I'm going to dive to the inside here. We're sort of getting a third-person perspective of this, and I go through to second position. Now, on board with Tom here, who's looking right behind us. So, am I going to go for a move on Mike straight away? Well, I'm not really close enough, am I? But Mike gets sideways, and oh, Tom gets even more sideways and goes for a spin. John manages to sneak through there and promote himself up into third position and Tom essentially drops the last place here unfortunately for him he's got a lot of work to do now as I take the lead of the race with a move down the inside of Mike who got a bit sideways in the previous corner there we are <laughs> a very exciting start to this one you can see it all kind of started thanks to myself getting a bad start John getting a good start it really kind of mixed it up early on on board my dad he's starting to catch up to John once more as we saw at the start of this race he lost quite a big amount of time after getting a really bad start for one reason or another so can he get past John here and now this is for third position thanks to Tom's spin Tom will obviously be chasing down and trying to get back into third position but how likely is that going to be in a 15 minute race it's going to be tough that's for sure so my dad's really putting the pressure on John here who's definitely lost a significant gap to the leading two of us now but that's not going to really be on his mind I think he realized after the qualifying session his battle was probably with my dad for fourth position which has turned into third position thanks to Tom's spin now as we cut out the laps where nothing happened we're already about five or six minutes into this race and John has caught Jake to put a lap on him here so he's going to the left hand side Jake probably doesn't quite realize he's here John places his car halfway off the track but manages to get the move done but what he doesn't realize is they went three wide my dad managed to go down the inside of Jake and get himself up into third position a fantastic move there quite a brave one as well to go three wide down the start finish straight at Bayford Meadows especially with Jake not being the most confident of cars so they probably would have wondered what exactly was going to happen there so a good move there from my dad he's now to third place with John dropping to fourth and Tom C behind here having been made up some good pace early on after his spin is now looking to try and regain his podium he's catching every lap he's quicker than these two by enough to make a podium once again viable it definitely looks like my dad's pace has dropped off a little bit since he's got past John I mean I, I know it hasn't been long but maybe he's starting to be a little bit more defensive with his racing lines now he knows that he's gained that third position here with to be perfect it was not long of this race to go it's only 15 minutes long we're nearly halfway through here so it's in a good position to grab a podium here at Bayford which I think it might have only happened once before it's not my dad's most successful track but he does thoroughly enjoy it probably a better run through those last couple of corners than John actually but the slipstream down the straight yes I know it's not much in a rental go-kart but it's something especially when you weigh as much as maybe we do maybe slipstreaming is worth that little bit more but good stuff there from my dad to get past John but can he hold it for the rest of this race let's see so let's look at the progression for Tom here so he's actually starting to catch up to Chris here so Chris having a stronger second race obviously having some experience with the track now he knows a little bit more about what the racing lines will be over a 15 minute session and where you can gain time here but Chris being maybe slightly too kind here he actually waves Tom through on the straight even though that Tom was probably a little bit quicker on the exit of the corner and Chris was actually probably a quick bit quicker by the end of the straight Tom goes through to get past there so that was a mistake on my end I thought that Tom had already got past Chris but no it had taken a bit longer than expected so can he close down that gap to these two as I mentioned these two are battling over third position and John's going for that move down the inside gets a slightly better run out of the final sequence of corners he's gone for the move down the inside but my dad fights back his side by side through turn one that's really impressive stuff there to keep it side by side through there it's a bit of a bank turn and my dad's later on the brakes there slightly misses the apex so let's see what they can do through this sequence of corners really really impressive to see these two battling it out over third position and it's close as well this is really exciting racing here as my dad doesn't get the best of runs as John's goes down the inside but can he hold it off no my dad's still holding it off around the outside now we'll have the inside line but can John get the switch back yes he can now they're side by side here there's not that long to go in this race now and Tom C is starting to close them down after getting past Chris John has I think now got that overtake done yes now we're on board with my dad looking 
looking at John just in front of him here. So can he get this overtake back now? We haven't got long this race to go. This would be an exciting one. So up to the final sequence of corners. Oh, no. A slight mistake there from my dad. He brakes a little bit too aggressively. Maybe not expecting John to hit the brakes so much through that sequence. And unfortunately goes for a spin. Which means that Tom promotes himself up to fourth position. And that means that John now is a pretty clear third place unless Tom does something really special in these last couple of laps now we're on board with Chris this is actually the last lap of the race I'm going to ride with Chris through to the end here because he's catching up to my dad who had started to slow down in the laps after the spin there wasn't long to go in this race anyway so it was going to be a, a tough one for him to lose loads of positions but maybe he slowed up a bit too much here as Chris as you can see the checker flag on the opposite side of the track I take the the win with Mike in second position but Chris is looking to the inside here is he going to take the position right at the end of the last lap of the race I think he is a good move down the inside he's made it stick my dad backed off a little bit too much and he's lost the position on the last lap this second race of the day has really really delivered here at Bayford really exciting stuff throughout it's actually a bit gutty we didn't have cameras on all of the carts here after such an exciting one but with no cameras on the front two carts unfortunately we couldn't focus on that main battle but it would be myself taking the victory in the end an extended gap of 13.177 seconds over Mike and Tom finished just behind John in the end there. There was only a second and a half in it essentially between them two. So that was really good to see a fight back from Tom, but it wasn't quite enough to grab the podium. John taking that just over 20 seconds behind. But still a fantastic drive from Tom after having that spin early on. I think he could have easily just given up there and taken whatever it would have been, sixth or seventh position. But no, he put in some impressive lap times, some fast, fast lap times and nearly nearly got back onto the podium which he would have thoroughly deserved here's the second half of the leaderboard chris as you saw there getting past on the last lap of the race to take fifth position over my dad in sixth place so i think unfortunately really slowed up on the last couple of laps after not feeling particularly well but it was only a bit too much if it just kept maybe a second and a half more per lap he could have possibly kept that fourth position jake finished two laps back and some much more impressive lap times in that one a really good job from jake to continually improve and nice to see him there once again getting better each time he goes out at a new track here are the championship points then after eight rounds the final one here today at bayford i finish on 769 points john on 590 Greg would finish on 309, just ahead of Mike on 294. My dad would finish on 255 points. So I think overall, everyone was pretty happy there. I think John would have liked to have been a bit closer, but I did have a bit of an early dominance in this championship when we were at time trial only because of the, the COVID restrictions. So that really managed to get up my lead. And to be honest, in the second half of the season, it was pretty close between myself and John. Second half of the leaderboard here, George would just edge out Tom C for sixth position. 176 points there for George and 162 for Tom. And I think Tom did that with possibly one less round. So that's actually quite impressive to be that close. Jake on 92 points. He had two rounds, I think, in there as well. With Tom be on 82 points from one round. So I think that's actually pretty impressive from him. Chris only doing the one round this final round of the season at Bayford. Collecting 48 points, but looking towards the 2022 season. Hopefully he'll be out a little bit more and maybe we'll see him go for top five in the championship. Let's see. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the 2022 season. Goodbye.